Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable JIT just in time compilation on your iOS device without Wi Fi using StickJIT, an on device JIT enabler that works for iOS 17.4 to iOS 18.3. This is super useful for running emulators like Dolphin iOS, UTM, and Pojav Launcher with way better performance. No more lag or slowdowns. Let's get started. I am testing it on my iPad. As you can see, it's running iOS 17.7.1. Now, first of all, we need to install StickJet. It's available on GitHub. So follow these steps. Open Safari and go to the official StickJet GitHub page and then download the latest IPA file from the releases section. I will put the link in the description once you have the stick JIT IPA file. Now there are many ways to install it in your iOS device. Like via eSign, via Scarlet, via Feather Signer, or via PC with Sideloadly. I will use eSign to install the stick JIT IPA file in my iOS device. You can choose any method you want to install stick JIT IPA file in your iOS device. Once the stick JIT is installed in your iOS device, when you will open it first time, it will give you an error. Now to fix this we need to download Stowe's VPN. This allows the device to connect to itself. Simply you can download and install Stowe's VPN from App Store. Once Stowe's VPN is installed in your iOS device, now open it and then simply set it up and then hit connect and hit allow. Once you got connected with Stowe's VPN, now open stick JIT and now you will see it will work properly without any error. Now to let StickJIT work, we need to have get pairing file first. Now to get the pairing file, you need to have a PC, and then you need to open side store website on your PC. Then scroll down and then hit on download jitterbug pair zip file in your PC. Once it's downloaded, now simply unzip your downloaded jitterbug pair zip file. Now open the new Jitterbug pair folder, and then on the top bar write CMD, and then hit enter. Now the command prompt will open. Now connect your iOS device with your PC with USB cable. Then write Jitterbug pair.exe in command prompt, and then hit enter. If you get error, make sure to trust on your iOS device, and then write the command again, and then hit enter. Now you will get your iOS device pairing file. Now open the Jitterbug pair folder and then simply send your pairing file to your iOS device via email, airdrop, etc. Once you have the pairing file in your iOS device, simply open the StickJit app. Then hit on the select pairing file and then simply select the pairing file which you got from Jitterbug pair on PC. Once you imported your pairing file successfully, now simply close the StickJit app and reopen it again. And now we are good to use StickJit app and we can enable JIT wirelessly without any PC on any iOS device running iOS 17.4 to iOS 18.3. Now let me test it. For testing I have installed Pojav Launcher in my iPad. Let me run the Pojav Launcher app and as you can see it's still checking for JIT. Now I will open the StickJit app and then hit on Enable JIT and then simply select the app you want to enable JIT. And that's it. You've now enabled JIT on your iOS device without Wi-Fi using Stick JIT. If this helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.